Okay, today we are working on a, uh, what is it, 2015 Buick Enclave. And uh, this thing has a little bit of what we call torque converter clutch chatter or shuddering at about 35 to 45 miles an hour. We'll show you how we diagnose that thing. This car actually came in from a dealer diagnosis and uh, we already ordered a transmission for it. So I'm just confirming it this morning, but I'm gonna show you how we confirm it. Okay, so as I'm driving down the road here, before I even look at the scan tool, I could feel a little chugging every time the gear switches in higher gears, like third or fourth gear, every time it switches to third or fourth, you feel a little chug. And uh, once you get up to about 45 miles per hour, if I'm able to do that on this street, once you get up to about 45 miles per hour, there it is. You can really feel a little chug there. Now these Buick Enclaves, they're supposed to drive very smooth. They're supposed to be nice and smooth performing. So when you get a little chug like that, that's usually a sign that your torque converter clutch is wearing down and starting to uh, break down and slip. So I'm gonna show you on the scan tool how we find that. Okay, we are driving down the interstate and we are watching TCC slips and as you can see, these TCC slips are kind of all over the place. The more I lean into it, the higher the slips go. And that's what gives you that little chatter, that little chug um, at about 45 to 55 miles per hour. And sometimes it'll even set a code for TCC stuck off or TCC slip high. But that's what we're looking for right here. All right, so we're back in the shop now. We've confirmed that this thing does in fact have high TCC slips on the interstate and even at 45 miles an hour. The shutter is more prevalent, just driving down about 35 to 45 miles an hour, you can really feel that shutter. And it's kind of quite annoying, especially when these things are supposed to drive pretty smoothly. So we're gonna go ahead and yank the transmission out of this thing, put a brand new reman in it and hopefully be fixed and down the road.